Does it make sense that a person can inherit something he already owns? So you're going to have to come again. Can you inherit what you own? So the translation given is inheritor, is supreme heir. But ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, how can you inherit nothing? Because one, who does he inherit from? Two, how can he inherit what he owns? Okay, he made everything, but that doesn't mean that he can inherit what he owns. So taking it back, that's what he means. Oh, taking, taking it, it back. back. Yes. Taking it back. He's not because taking it back. Let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. No. Let me finish. Let me finish. So let me do. He doesn't let me finish. Well, I'm gonna let me finish. He doesn't let me finish. And so there are rational contradictions in the Quran about what the Quran says about Allah. And the Quran says, if I, not you, not you Muslims, it says if I can find a contradiction in the Quran, then it's not from Allah. So you can okay, like the learned so, scholars, the learned scholars that you're all talking about. So, Maybe you should dialogue with them with the same intention of exchanging so, knowledge. So I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to ask you a question. Learn. I want to ask you a question about Islam, about Allah. To be honest, see, I'll tell you. I know. I just want to have an to open with dialogue with you. Ah, you don't want to interact. No, I don't want to interact in there the academic discussion. There we go. So, so you just sermonized me for five I, minutes I feel like, I feel like about I'm doing right something person. that you can't do. I feel like I'm not the right person to answer your question. You know what? I but can but I can because, I give you something back? Can I you, can I can I have a conversation you, with you? Right. No, so why is, I'm, I'm do you want no. to have a conversation? I'm clearly saying no. So you just want to you just want to have a monologue to me then? I just wanted to come here. This is my first first day over here. Bro, here, let me help you. Here, 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 brother. Brother, here. Thanks a lot, I really appreciate that. There you go. Thanks a lot. Do you want to have a conversation with me? I can ask you a question. Yeah, I'll have a conversation with you. I would answer you, but I don't want to like, point you out. So let me just wrap up with with let me just respond to this this guy like the the, the brothers come to me and he's questioned my intentions um, around talking to Muslims in the park, suggesting to me that that what I should do is have an open dialogue in which we learn and that should be my intention in coming here, but yet he's just demonstrated that that's not what he's about. Uh, because when I said, how about we have an open dialogue, yeah. he said, I'm not here to have an open dialogue. Ah, so he just came here to give me a sermon for five minutes. One second, let me finish. He's just come here to give me a sermon for five minutes and then not willing to put into practice the very thing that he told me. <laughs> furthermore, furthermore, the sermon that he's just given to me, he's, he was, before the camera arrived, said quite openly that he was unwilling to say to the Muslim speakers in the park. And this is the kind of double standards that we see week in, week out from Muslims, both guests and... Yeah, well, let me finish. Right? So, that we see this kind of double standard all the time. Muslims expect of Christians something that they are not willing to do themselves. And I say to you that you don't need to live by Muslim double standards. Now, now I'm inviting you to the dialogue he refused. Okay, go on. And so my question to you, as a Muslim, is... I'm not religious, by the way, but... Fair enough, but you're willing to have a dialogue. I'm, 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 I'm assuming that you're a Muslim. Is that a fair comment? Non-practicing? I'm practicing. Okay, you are practicing. Here and there. Here and there. Fair enough. Everyone's at different points in the spiritual journey. So, as a Muslim, do you believe that Allah owns all things? Yes. Yes. Is there anything he doesn't own? Um, I would say no. No, he owns everything. Because he created everything, right? Right. Right. If Allah owns everything, shall we take a couple of steps? Let's take a couple of steps this way. Plus, we don't want that pigeon to go for strike two. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you. Right. So, my my, if if Allah owns everything, um. Does it make sense that a person can inherit something he already owns? 
So you're going to have to come again. Can you inherit what you own? I can't answer that question. Why, why can't you answer that question? Well, do you know what inheritance means? Yeah. What does inheritance mean? Inheritance means when someone's owed something yep. and it's passed down to you. And it's passed down to you. Right, so we do know what inheritance means. So now let's answer the question logically. Can you inherit something you already own? Love is I would say no. No. Do, do we all agree that that's a logical presupposition? If you own it, you can't inherit it. Right. So no, no, no. We're, yeah, that. that so you, you can still have the state. No, no. We're talking. We're talking about if you already own it, can you inherit it? But if you own it, you can say no, no, no. With the condition of the question is that you already own it. So we're not talking about something you've inherited. We're talking about something that you own. Yeah, but you can own something that you inherited. No, no. We're not talking about something you've inherited. We're talking about something that you own. Yeah, it can, you can both. It can be both owned. And Would you like to join this conversation? No, no. But I'm saying it can be both okay. owned and inherited. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so no, let me let me continue the logic. No, no, bro, come and join the conversation. Come, come, bro, bro, join the conversation. I'm inviting you to join. Right. So let, let 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 me just reply to what he said, because I want to point out to you that he's inviting in a qualification to the conversation that I am not allowing. The question is not about whether you own something you inherit. Of course, if you inherit something you own it i'm not talking about that i'm talking about can you inherit something you already own no that's not what we're talking about you're trying to change the topic so oh allah owns everything right and we all I'm not a leader. That's fine. No, I'm a very educated. Okay. But to be a Muslim, you don't have to. That's understand? brilliant. Right. So, so allow me to reply. Opinion. So I agree. This this is very logical, basic logic. You don't need to be a genius to figure it out. If I own this bag and I never inherited it, I bought it, so I own it. That means I can't inherit it. What's your point anyway? Right. Explain to me why Allah is called the inheritor of all things. Because I believe personally he's almighty. Yep. He owns everything in this world. He owns everything. He controls everything. He controls everything. And, and that's just what it is. Right. I if, don't have to prove it to you. Okay, let me... Let, because it's faith. I get, I get what you're saying. Listen to his reply. Because the, the, the reply contains a contradiction within it. Okay. Allah is said by Muslims to own everything. Own yes, no, but Allah owns everything. that's what I just said. I literally just said that. Okay, go on. But does that mean I own everything? No, I never said that. Okay, great. You pay attention carry to what on, I'm carry saying. Carry on, carry on. So Muslims say that Allah owns everything. Yeah. If Allah owns everything, he can't inherit what he owns. Because one, who does he inherit from? Two, how can he inherit what he owns? Because he's all merciful, all powerful, and he made everything. Okay, he made everything, but that doesn't mean that he can inherit what he owns. Yeah, There's a logical contradiction here. You're talking on, on like temporal terms, because when you say inherit, right? Yeah. You're talking about a time scale, because you said you own it, you're saying then can you inherit it? But when we're talking about God, we're talking about an entity that transcends time. Yes. Right? So it's not something, so there might be some, uh, something that say, let's say I haven't produced yet, I'm going to produce and I'm going to make a bag, right? Yeah. And then you, you'd say in, in those terms that God inherits that bag, because that bag wasn't in existence before. God owns all things, but he owns all things that are past, present and future. So he transcends your concept that you're, that you're limited to, which is time. Of when I inherit things. Okay. Like can, can, no, wait, wait, wait. Can, let, no, 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 no. Let me reply to what he said. No, let me, let, 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 let me, re, let me reply to this. And, and, no, let me reply to him. Stop being rude. He's made a point. Let me reply to him. Let me reply to him. No, let me reply to him. Let me reply to him. Now, guys, I, I want to point out why I'm doing this. Like, Muslims come to this part all the time attacking the Christian faith. I'm a Christian, and therefore, since Muslims are coming to attack Christianity all the time, it is only fair. Wait, oh, right, so are we just going to have a shouting match? Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? You said you wanted to have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but this ultimately happens a lot. You try to have a conversation and it breaks down. And then it just descends into a shouting match. I'm trying to avoid that. Make your own judgment who's destroying the conversation. 
So, let, allow me to finish. I've allowed you. No, you haven't. You've been interrupting consistently and you're still interrupting now. Are you, are you done? Are we done? I'm here. I'm here. I'm All right, so allow me to finish. So, why is it important that we Christians stand up for ourselves? Muslims are coming to this corner week in, week out to attack the Christian faith. Christians. It is therefore right for Christians not only to defend their faith, but to make criticisms of Islam. But those criticisms must be fair. So, if the Quran says statements about God that are mutually contradictory, it's right for me to point them out. Why do you care? Now let me finish. Stop interrupting because you'll be complaining when I interrupt. No, I'm going to finish replying to him. I'm going to reply to him. Then you speak. Try to learn some manners. Try to, try to learn some manners. So, the brother said that my argument is flawed because Allah stands out of time. But the question of time has nothing to do with ownership. The moment Allah creates something, he owns it. There's no time at which he doesn't own it. And if he doesn't own it, then it is rationally contradictory for Muslims to say that he inherits it. Because who is he inheriting from? Yeah, I mean, can you, if I create this bag, is it rational to say that I have inherited the bag? No, I am the creator of the bag. I am the owner of the bag. But it is rationally contradictory to say that I inherit the bag. And so there are rational contradictions in the Quran about what the Quran says about Allah. And the Quran says, if I, not you, not you Muslims, it says if I can find a contradiction in the Quran, then it's not from Allah. How would you like to reply? And that's your opinion. Whatever it is. I want to ask you a question. Yes, okay. Can I ask you a question? Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you, would you like to come back on that? Let me, let, me, let me just do this quickly. Okay. Can I ask you a question? You'll ask one question and then we'll come back to the topic. Go on. Why do you paint all Muslims with the same brush? Okay. So the question is, yeah. why do I paint all Muslims with the same brush? Anyone who has watched Soko films, go and have a look at it, will realize that I make distinctions amongst Muslims all the time. It is a simple false accusation, as this brother tried to ask when he said, are you a racist, to play that race card. If you have to attack the man in the argument, it means that you've lost the argument. Okay, you've asked your question. Would you like to reply to what I said? Bag, then does that mean you're God now? Because you created something. Okay. Like in, in, in terms of in, the, in your Christian opinion, if you created that bag, are you now the, the, the creator or is God still the creator and that bag still belongs onto him? Like that, that bag didn't exist except through his virtue. Okay. So, the, 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 I, and I want to point out, guys, that it would seem that no Muslim here has any response to my argument. So no Muslim, so no Muslim yet has come up with a response to my argument. But to answer his question directly, allow me, allow me to answer the question directly, and I want you to notice how I'm going to answer their questions directly and see if they will also answer my questions directly. So, it, if I create a bag, am I am I a creator? Human beings can't create diddly squat. We can only transform that which God has created. This is not created, it is transformed matter. The matter is created. We do not share the capacity to create. It's something that belongs only to God. But now let me come back to you with a question. What is an inheritor? What is an inheritor? Um, an inheritor uh, is someone that, yeah, that, that takes ownership of something. Takes ownership of something from? Just be a Muslim. From? Barefoot. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do, right, does, do, does the word inheritor mean you take ownership from someone else? Not necessarily. Can you give me an example of how you inherit something not from someone else? I don't know where the passion yeah. comes from. Go on. Like, if, you, if you're... If the world was like empty, right, and yeah. you like picked up something, like there was a rock on the floor, you'd yeah. say like, I've inherited it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, he's used the example that if you walk past a rock on a beach, 
and you pick up the beach, you can the claim rock, you in it. Yeah, sorry, rock. my apologies. Yeah. yeah, not the beach. And you pick up the rock. That this means you've inherited the rock. No, it doesn't mean you have inherited it, but you can claim it. If you it, create an yeah, animal, you, you what, no, no, no. Let me reply to what he says. Then, no, no. Let me reply to what he says, and then you come in. I'll let you come in. Just let me reply to what he said first. Let's have a conversation, guys. It's always better when people have a conversation, right? So the point is, when this kind of analogy is completely flawed, if I go on a beach and pick up a rock, I claim possession of the rock. I haven't inherited the rock. Inheritance means you are taking possession of someone else's possessions. Yeah, but it could And this is the ir yeah, irrational one second and this is the irrational contradiction within the Quran that says that Allah is Al Maliki, the owner of everything, yes. and Al Warith, the inheritor of everything. That's a rational contradiction. How would you reply? Uh, do you think, hypothetically, if you could create an animal, yes. I know that we can't create matter, if you okay. could create Thought an experiment. animal, do you own it because you created it? Right. So, I believe that the creator owns that which he creates. So if he creates something, that? if he creates something, he owns it. But by definition, rationally speaking, if he owns it, he cannot inherit. So I understand. You pointed this out already, but I'm asking you a different so question. So respond to that argument. I hear. I, I'm not a Muslim. I'm just trying to understand something else. Why, if you did create something, hypothetically, from, from scratch, why are you the owner of it? Because you created it. Okay. I don't want to get too much off the topic. Uh, this is a question for Muslims. But I, I will address your point, sir, because I want to be polite. I that's, believe, that's relevant, I believe very if, very if God point. creates something, if God creates something, he's just said he's not a Muslim, just to be clear. If God creates something because he has created it, he is the owner. He is the owner. Because that which you create, you own. If I transform the material and make a bag, I created it, in quote marks, so therefore it's mine. No one has... Exactly, if you steal it, I still own it, you're a thief. But what if you created it for someone else? Would you be allowed to torture it? Sorry, I'm all of, you're getting us off the topic, go on. Sorry? What if you created it for someone else? If, what happens if you create it from someone else? No, what if you create it for somebody else? Right. So, then do you own it at any point? Let, let, let's, let, let's, this, this is a great question. This is a great question. Okay? So the question is, what if you create it for someone else? Okay. Right. Well, if you create it for someone else, then that means, yes, you're the creator, it's yours to do with what you want, and you give up. You let me finish my quick. Let me reply to your question, bro. <laughs> Don't get so excited. If I create it for someone else and I give it to someone else, I'm no longer the owner. So now let me ask you the question. Does Allah own everything? Yes. No, no, but my question, you, I don't think you understood my question. Are you ever the owner of it? If, 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 let's say that bag, you, you make it for somebody else. Yeah. Are you at any stage the owner of that bag? Part of, at the beginning, yes. But when you give it to someone else, you're no longer the owner. When, when were you the owner of it? At the moment of creation. At the moment you created it. Okay, but you so, just said that humans can't create anything. Yeah, humans can't. But you, then you just said you created the bag. That, that's just common use of the language word created. That's what my point is then. Because when we say created, you said, but humans can't create anything. That's true. But humans can in sense of, yes, everything is energy or matter transferred from one form to another. Okay, I understand that. But why I want we're to talking in terms of why the, even that bag I in that form. In God, and even if God created, created the right? Let, let's step this way. So I'm saying that the bag in that form is, um, yes, it wasn't, the, the, the matter inside of it wasn't created because it already existed. Right? Yeah. But in the form that it's in, it was created, right? Yeah. So I would say, when I say uh, that the human created it, that's the term that I'm speaking in. I'm not talking in terms of the human created the matter, okay. but the human created the product. Okay, so let, let me reply because I think, bro, you, 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 you're really missing my point. What I'm saying to you is this. Let me just recapitulate. No, 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 no. Let, no, let, like, let me recapitulate my point because your 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 statement has no relation to my criticism. So, so let let me re, let me recapitulate my point. So, in Islam, the Quran states, if this is from any other than Allah, if I find contradictions within it, 
If people find contradictions within it, it's not from God. And the Quran describes the Muslim God, but it describes the Muslim God in contradictory terms. It says that the Muslim God is Al-Maliki. He is the owner, possessor of everything. But it also describes that same God as Al-Warif, the inheritor of everything. And as we established at the beginning of this conversation, it is irrational, illogical and contradictory to state that you inherit what you already possess. You can't inherit what you already possess. But this is my point now, Go on. Which, which, why it does relate to Go on. Because God created and owns everything. Yes. I.e. that matter. Yeah. But we're talking about, and this is with the other part of, of, of what creation means, yeah. is creating the product in its form. Yeah. Right? So I would say there are, there, there are two, those are two different things. So he's a creator and owner of everything that exists, not the matter. Right. But in terms of then how that matter is then being produced into something, a bag or a yeah. purse or whatever, yeah. right? That is also a creation, but it hasn't been, it's not created, it's not, um, it's not created by that human, but it's created in its form. Okay, okay. what's your name bro? Ismail, Ismail. Firstly, I want to thank you for having a nice conversation with me, I appreciate this a great deal, you know. This is how Speaker's Corner should be done, it should be conversations. Um, let me reply to your argument. Um, you, have, you have stated that Allah creates the matter, right? But then if we turn the matter into a bag, am I right? I just want to make sure I understand your argument that it is the fact that he is, that he is inheriting the bag. Is that what you're trying to say? Is that your argument? No, no, I'm saying that, I'm saying there's... Because I'm trying to understand how it's a response to my argument. Understanding yeah, created. that's fine, but that's well, how does that relate to my argument, is what I'm asking. Well, I'm just putting that out there. Okay, all, so all let, land, let, let me reply to it, let me reply to it. Because this still doesn't address the argument, which is that the heart of Islamic theology and the, the heart of Islamic spirituality, which is the 99 names of Allah, which are very central to Islamic theology and spirituality, that there are contradictions in those names. If Allah owns everything, he can't inherit everything. He can't be both al-Maliki and al-Warith at the same time. That is a rational can, contradiction. Can he, not be, can he not be the owner of, of everything? Matter, yeah, yeah, etc., yeah, yeah. And then also the inheritor of anything that is, that is created in the second sense right. by humans. Right, so that was what my question was to you. Is that your argument? Is that what you're trying to I say? Don't, I don't necessarily have an argument. Like okay. I'm not, I don't know Well, about let's it. entertain the idea. Okay. Let's entertain the idea that in the first instance, uh, Allah is al-Maliki because he is the owner of all matter. But in the second instance, he is the inheritor of everything because if I turn the matter that Allah is created and owns into a bag, he then can inherit the bag. But here's the reason why that argument doesn't work. Because if you are the owner of everything, everything really has to mean everything. And if you're saying that Allah owns the matter, but he doesn't own the bag, then that means that at some sense Allah is not al-Maliki. He doesn't own everything. So, yeah, does, you, wait one second, wait one second. You've saved him from the sense of being al-Warif, but what, to save him as al-Warif, you've, you've chucked al-Maliki under the bus. No, uh, but, but he can, it, it's the sense that, well, the, as we said, ownership is in, or creation is in, in two senses, right? Yeah. So he still owns that bag in its, in its matter, right? in terms of, of, of that energy that's being transformed. Yeah. Right? But then acute, the human still has an ownership in, in the creation of it in that form. Okay, right? an ownership. So let, let's, let's, think, let's, just, let's just delve into that, yeah. right? What is shirk? No, I'm sorry, I have one question for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because you ask a lot of questions. You ask okay, no, 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 I'm sorry, we're having a conversation. You can jump in, but okay, be polite. One second. Try to be polite. Try to be polite. Sir, try to be polite. You are not polite. Not ownership, then possession. Okay. I get what you're saying. So the humans in possession of it, but they don't own it. Right, so 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 let let's let's look at this. Okay, so so let's let's let let I I I I appreciate your question, but but here's why that argument doesn't work. Why, so if you're saying that I own this bag, yeah. 
you're saying Allah doesn't own the bag, but he does own the matter. He does own the matter. But one second. Oh, Shamsi, 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 Shamsi. Why don't you have a conversation? Why don't you have a conversation, Shamsi, rather than being rude? I know that being rude is normal to you, but you will complain when I come and interrupt you later, which I now will do. I'm going to come and interrupt you later and you'll be complaining. Right? So now let's have a conversation. No, but before, before. No, 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 Shamsi, you just no, you jumped into the... Shamsi, you, you just me. broke into a... So we're not having a, a decent conversation. Is scared of me. No one is scared of you, Shamsi. Who ran away from who? Shamsi, can you have a conversation? Try to be polite. Shall we do it timed? Okay. Right, let's do it timed. Let's do it timed. Okay. And I speak, I have to speak now. To make you comfortable, no, let's go to, to the railings. No, don't expect me what to do. I'm going to speak okay. now. Okay. No, no, no. Shall we do it time? Shall we do it time? Can I speak? No, you burst into this conversation, no, Shamsi. You don't get to brother. dictate. So, uh, okay, no, no, you, you interrupted. So. Translation, Allah's name, Al-Warith. Go on. Oh, what, what, what does Al-Warith al mean? Al-Warith mean yeah. it's everlasting. Oh, not inheritor then. No, no, wait, 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 not inheritor. Meaning, the one that creates something, then that thing will disappear Yo. and he will last after that. Hello. Who mentioned that? Who mentioned that as the Jash, <laughs> Rahimahullah? <laughs> Ibn Jarir al Tabari, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, Al Warithu. It's an Arabic term, is it? Yeah. But he's trying to deceive my Muslim brothers and sisters by translating it into English dictionary. Al Warithu means someone that creates something, then make it disappear and it will be everlasting. That's the meaning of Al Warith. So what he did, he mistranslated. Do you understand that? I finished his argument. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. The same. Shams is running away again. 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 Always the same with Shamsi. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to remember this point because later I'm going to interrupt Shamsi, but he'll be complaining when I do. So, so let me let me just pull up. Let me just pull up. What, what we've got here is Shamsi is saying, accept this, in, this understanding of the term Al-Warif. No, al so what, a, what, a, what it, are you going to interrupt Shamsi? Are we going to do that? Are we going to do that, Shamsi? Okay. So, so we'll just, Allah's name, okay. once again, a decent again, conversation again, is ruined by now. Shamsi. So let, let me just pull up what it says. Who was interrupting last week? Can you stop interrupting, please? I'm interrupting, I'm heckling. Are you heckling? You are, you are you heckling? heckling. So before you teach me about being polite, teach your Christian you sister. <laughs> Looking for Christy. Before you bro. preach to the Muslim, you like preach to your own sister. Your can you preach to your own sister? So, yeah. you ladies you and sister? gentlemen, Before as gentlemen, always, Shamsi ruins a decent Christy. conversation. You just let me just polite, let me just tell like, you like, what Islamic yeah. websites say Al Warith is. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind that Shamsi has just given his own translation. Of Al Warith. So, Al Warith is the inheritor, the supreme heir, the one. Now, listen, because this agrees with what he's saying. Listen, listen. The one who remains after all creation has perished. So, the translation given is inheritor, is supreme heir. But, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, how can you inherit nothing? <laughs> this is what the translation states. The one who remains after all creation has perished. The one to whom all things return. The one who has everlasting ownership. It comes from the root, which means to inherit, to be an heir, to be a survivor. To be the owner or sustainer after someone. Now, why do I need to shout? Because as you've heard, Shamsi can't shut up. But watch now when I interrupt him how he will complain. Finish. Go on. Finish, yeah? Okay. 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 Okay.
Bro, bro he's not tired. Bob doesn't get tired. Bob doesn't get tired. Yeah. He's absolutely right. Yeah, Bob does not get tired. You have to give it to him. His voice is loud. But that's a minute right. That is true. That's a minute right, sister. And neither does talking about either. If you notice. What do you notice? Oh, oh, be quiet now. Be quiet now. Samzi's talking. Be quiet now. Samzi's talking. But he was okay to interrupt me. Bob, when he was speaking, I told him to stop as well. When he was speaking, did I tell him to stop? Yes, because only you wanted, only he wanted the right to interrupt. No, I'm speaking to you. You interrupted me constantly. That's because he didn't know how to pronounce it. So what? I have to correct you. I don't believe in Arabization. Anyway, anyway, my brother, when he was speaking to you, did he mention that to you? No. When he was speaking to you, did he mention all the other meaning? No. No. See what he was doing? Was it he a was lie? Mis no. He was mistranslating it. Did now, he mention now, the inheritor? Now, now, no. Now, now, now he's going to ask me, he thought I made it up. No. Who said that? Abu Muhammad, Abu Ja'far Muhammad ibn Jay Tabari. Who was he? One of the heads and the teachers and the sheikh and the scholar of Tafsir who existed. 300 years, uh, 1, it comes from the ago. Arabic the root, early, which means to early, inherit, finish, which means to survive, early, early, which means was, to receive. Early, that is what, from the was, Arabic. Who was one of the early scholars of Tafsir? I haven't denied Arabic any language. of this. No, I made it up. So take it back. No, it no. That's why said, what I'm pointing that. out camera, is that you are selective you're right, about no, your no, no, translation. You're selective about your translation. So now, let us read. Ibn Jar Rahimahullah said, When I knew, Nanitu Arda woman Aleha be and Numita Jamia Hom, Falaya Pahatta Siwana, meaning that we'll inherit the earth, meaning that we'll take back the earth. Doesn't mean heritage like someone, like a father or the son. Inherit the earth. No, no, that's From who? No, listen, it doesn't. Taking it back, that's what it means. Oh, it's taking, taking it back. back. Yes, taking it back. Is that because taking it back? Let, 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 Is that inheritance? Let, let me finish. Let me no. finish. Let me finish, let me finish. So Nelly Thu Abu Jabba. He doesn't let me finish. Well, I'm gonna let me finish. He doesn't let me finish. It's amazing how he wants you to be silent. No, you interrupted me constantly. It's on camera, Shamsi. You burst into the conversation. You interrupt him. No one's scared of you. No one is scared of you. Let me deal with him because I expose him many times. He would. You know what I like about him? There's nothing got to give it to him. He likes to come back and get uh, uh, abused my, uh, intellectually. Hashim did it to him, many brothers, and he still comes, you know. Uh, if, uh, can you bully this face, man? This face oh, okay. like anyway, So, so ladies and gentlemen, he thinks by mocking you, he wins the argument. Deal with the argument. I just said with Ibn Jair Tabari, who was the earliest scholar, from the earliest one, as the Jaji, as the Jaji, another scholar of Arabic language, he said that the hell's mean that Allah will create something, then take it back, make it disappear, and it will be everlasting. That's the meaning of it. Now, I accept this person, that. Are you done? Uh, let me Are you done? Let me finish. That does not mean the finishing that he tried to define it to the brother, meaning when I'm waiting for my father to give me back something to me that does not belong to me. Do you understand that? That is a lie. What does that say? Take care of yourself. I refuse to. Al Waris. I've explained it. The eternal. Inheritor, and the eternal inheritor, the heir, the one whose existence remains. Notice by Shamsi, now once again, Shamsi runs. He interrupts and then he runs. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact of the matter is, Al Warif, Al Warif. Look, straight to the camera. What does it say there? What does it say on your cameras? This is what it says. Al Warith, the internal inheritor. Shamsi, Shamsi, it's all right. Okay, Shamsi. Shamsi is simply, is simply being selective in what he wants to say about Al Warif. He simply wants to point out the fact of part of what this term means, the one who has eternal existence. No one denies that. But how can he be the one who inherits? Why title him as the one who inherits if he already owns something? Gotcha. Islamic doctrine is self-contradictory. From the root, 
Warif, which the following classical Arabic connotations. This is from an Islamic website. Well, it must be true. Classical in Arabic connotations. <laughs> To inherit, Shamsi. What, what? To be an heir, uh, Shamsi. Uh, That's what the classical Arabic roots say, Shamsi. Why did you lie, Shamsi? Why did you lie? Stop lying! So later on, we're going to go and interrupt Shamsi. But when we do, what Shamsi complain? He will complain when we do what he just did. <laughs>